You all have been there. You download a project from GitHub or a colleague, then you set everything up and finally it is compiling. But still your IntelliSense is not properly working. Autocompletion is not doing what it should do and those red squiggly lines, they just drive you insane. So today I show you a bunch of features how to fix this once and for all and also how to connect your build system using the compile commands. Let's have a look at the structure of this project. So we see here that we have uh, basically a main.cpp file and then two files that are in the folder called dependency, which is line.cpp and line.h. So we include this line and then we also have uh, the instantiation of this line and we just instantiate and then we return. The build system for this is using Mison and at this point we look into the build system file so it's also not too complicated. We have here the compile command so this is how the project is called and we have additional include directories. So because if you probably already noticed here in the main.cpp we just directly include line.h so we need to tell the compiler in which direct directories it needs to look for this. This is done here in the, uh, the build file by using this include directories and most of the build files of the build systems, all of them support different include directories. And here we just say that we look into the folder called dependency to uh, resolve our includes. And then we use all the files so we see that uh, this is basically complete. So let's go to our console and see that this actually builds. Open the console and we set up uh, the build directory for this by calling meson build. And we see build directory here has been created and then we call ninja minus c build to build all the targets that are inside and we see it is actually working. And inside the build directory, we now get the main because the executable here is called main. And we can call this and it should also do the right thing. And in this case, probably just doing nothing. But trust me, it works. So we see the program is compiling, yet we see here this file is still flagged somehow red by IntelliSense. It says one problem in this file. And if we go here, we see these ugly squiggly lines, the red lines of hate that everybody knows and so many people just don't get rid of. This basically means that IntelliSense is not knowing what line underscore T is. Your compiler is knowing it because your compiler you just have told the include directories but IntelliSense has no connection to your compiler at this point at least and that's why it doesn't know how to resolve the symbol. If we go here and we go for uh, this uh, light bulb and click on it, we can see that we have basically two options to get rid of this, at least two options proposed by um, Visual Studio Code. So the second one, this one is quite funny. It's just dis uh, disabling the arrow squiggles. So it just don't, doesn't show you that you have a problem anymore, but uh, don't go for that one. So <laughs> I still like to see if I have problems. Then the first one is edit the include path setting. So we just click on there and we see if we're scrolling down that here we have the include paths that are used for IntelliSense. So these include paths will be used to, uh, to build the code model that VS Code is later using for auto completion and stuff like this. For instance, if we now go back to our main.cpp file and we want to call anything that is based here on my line. If I now hit auto completion, it tells me there there's no suggestion. Visual Studio Code doesn't know what a line is. So let's go back to the C++ configurations and here especially to the include path. So here we can fix the include path by including this folder here inside. So we can right click on it and we can copy the relative path of it and then we can add here at the beginning the workspace folder for that and we see workspace tool compile command dependency and if we click outside of it suddenly main.cpp is still red yeah but uh, yeah 
this only because I still have this open line here. Now IntelliSense knows what the line is. So I can follow this. I can go here to the line directly or I can even use here the auto completion to get uh, every function that I can call on this particular class. However, I still would say that this approach is not good enough. The main problem here that we have is that we as programmers like to just express everything exactly once. So the point here is that I have already specified the include directory in my build system. And now I needed to specify basically the same include directory at another place in my software. Exactly here in this include path, I needed to place the same include directory. And this is basically asking for trouble down the road because it will become inconsistent. You will put suddenly different folders here than there. And uh, it, I have seen it so, so many times, it will mess up your project down the road. Let's have a look at the different better alternative to that. So we delete this line here from our include pass again to reset the project to how it was at the beginning. And then we look at what this build output is providing us. Because inside this build out output from the Mison build system, we find this file called compilecommands.json. If we go inside this file, it basically is a summary of all of the different targets that you have and how to invoke the compiler for these targets. So we see that we want to have a specific compiler and here we also see the include directories or the flags that we pass to the compiler. This means that all of the information how to build your software is already inside the compile commands.json. The only thing that we now need to do is make Visual Studio Code of, uh, aware of exactly this file. And if we go back to our C++ configurations, we see that under the advanced settings, we can do that. Here is a compile commands option. And here we just need to put the path to exactly our compile commands file. So we copy again the relative path here and we say under tools compile commands, uh, he will find exactly this JSON file that is then later used to find the correct values for the include path and the defines of your software. If we go back to our software, we see that uh, Visual Studio Code now recognizes line.t as before with the correct include path. And we can also use auto completion to access the methods for these classes. So if you have trouble with that in the future, just try to get your compile commands file. And now the main benefit here is that if I change the include directories now in my build system, this will directly affect the compile commands. So for instance, if I go here and I say I have now a second dependency for whatever reason, and I probably still need to create this folder because otherwise it will not work. So we uh, just create this fo folder, rename it to second dependency. So we go back to our console, we execute Mison again, this time with a minus minus wipe. We get a new build directory. And if we look here now in the compile commands, we see that this new build directly shows up in the compile command and will therefore also be used for intelligence resolution and will be used for auto completion and all the good stuff that you have. So I hope that you learned something today. Thanks for joining. And as always, enjoy coding.